Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Burley Man, and welcome out to. That's a bloody good start, isn't it? Bloody hell. <laughs> can't get welcome one better. To, you can't make a better one than that. But welcome to the Burley Man Safe House podcast. My name is Burley Man, and I am joined by Twilight Terror, Katsune no Meiji, <gasps> and Tyrion Hunter. And no camp for you. And looks like Twilight Terror has already found something of interest. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tyrion just sent me photos of Kitty. A kitty? Yeah. A kitty? A kitty. A kitty! Sorry. <laughs> Hello, guys. And then welcome everyone to, who's watching us. Welcome to the show. This is a, a new little podcast series where we talk about random geeky stuff. And Tyrion looks like he's really... <laughs> Busy. <laughs> yeah, he's concentrating on something. Hello. <laughs> but, Staring yeah. intently at his crotch. But hello, everyone. How's everyone doing today? I'm I... doing right. a busy day. I'm a bit pissy. Oh, got really sorry, woken up by the phone. Oh, no one likes the phone. No one mm -mm. likes the phone. <laughs> How are you doing, Tyrion? <laughs> I, I'm staring intently at my crotch. <laughs> um, I'm seeing are you doing like like extreme surgery on your penis or something? Yep. But, what? what? <laughs> it's getting that wart out. <laughs> I'm just trying to send Tara a picture. Hey. Oh. <laughs> wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. You followed you followed the word crotch with the word picture? Wait? What? And the word Tara? <laughs> well Sarah? actually I followed the words of getting the wart out of my penis and pitched her. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the sort of stuff that we get up to when no one's watching. <laughs> Only everyone's watching. Only everyone's actually watching now. <laughs> well, uh, I don't have a picture of his rubber ducky side. I'll send it you later. Okay. I love uh, I'm My cat has a rubber duck on his side. I wanted to show Tara. Interesting. Interesting. I, I never thought cats would have rubber ducks on their sides. What, did you like glue it on or something? Or No, it's, it's, it's like the, it. the black splotch on the side of his belly is actually like a, a perfect, ducky. like, it's got the beak and the head and then it's got the little ducky body. Ooh. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, what's it, cl cloud watching? <laughs> yeah, cloud watching, it's except it's kitty watching. The kitty watching. Cat watching. <laughs> oh, well, uh, we're going to talk about a few little subjects in this uh in this little podcast, we're going to talk about the uh, Assassin's Creed series, since there's currently a Steam sale on the entire franchise right now. Then we're going to we're talk about. Uh, <laughs> then we're going to talk about. about The Walking Dead after that, since there's a new season of that coming out. And the best part of all of this is that Tyrion hates both of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're also going to make a few little announcements and some little uh, plugins from our guests as well. But let's get things started. So, Assassin's Creed. I know nothing about it. <laughs> Except for the <laughs> word well, Ezio. You know the word Ezio. Yeah. Um, well, well, I mean, you've seen trailers, right? I mean, you get the premise. Only trailer I've ever seen and... for it. Only trailer I've ever seen of it. Only thing I ever saw of any of them was the trailer for the Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Because pirates! That's it. Because yeah. <laughs> random assassin pirates. Pirates! I don't get that. I don't get the random assassin pirates. Uh, it, yeah, well, let's 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 come come to we'll that to, in a bit. Sh but, should I explain okay. the, the premise of it, or do you want to explain the premise, darling? I whichever you prefer. <laughs> would you like Would you like me to describe it to him, or or do you want to? I, I I can I'll describe them. Right, Assassin's Creed. It's a sci-fi, uh, fantasy sort of storyline, but with history. Yes, yeah, uh, it's had like, me at sci-fi fantasy. And fantasy, but then lost me at history. No, 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 it's it, it's my worst subject. It's a yeah, historical, historical game. sci-fi fantasy. Yeah, uh, you play as a one of the mill normal bartender known as Desmond Miles, where he has a past that he doesn't like talking about too much. Unfortunately, some people uh, known as Obstergo have found this guy because of his past, and uh, he is now being kidnapped, and. Uh, they... Well, no, he escapes. I mean, by now he's escaped. Hang on, dude. I'll be skipping half the story, you love. <laughs> Shh. Don't spoil the story. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Pretty yeah, much. This is gets... all spoilers here. No. Nah. You pretty much, you get stuck inside this machine called an Animus, where you relive the lives of your ancestors. And in the games, you play as El Taller, Ezio, and I can't even remember the other guys, because I don't really care about the other games. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd actually like to go into that machine. I want to know who my ancestors were. You find out it's like a pie maker or something. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't the machine only work with assassins? No, it works with um, anyone. That oh no, gets DNA. Into it. That's right. It's it works with work DNA because like um, in the multiplayer in Brotherhood and Revelations that I know of, you play as the actual Templars, which are the bad guys of the whole storyline. And yet you have to play as their ancestors while murdering all your mates in like a VR training simulator. So you guys become assassins to fight the assassins. Because, you know, that makes sense, fighting fire. Yeah, fire. why not? Yeah. Um, Reasons of video games. Yeah. Tyrion looks like he's trying to hold back rage already. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's, it's a cross between laughing and yawning because Kitty's like, oh, num 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 coke. Yeah, I've, I'm watching it as well. <laughs> It's even it's not. The it's can. just the con- condensation off of the off of the side of the can. It's not even <laughs> the soft drink. She just wants to taste the can. Uh, so uh, that's actually one thing I always cool? question. Why do Americans call it soft drinks? Do they get hard drinks over there? Um, hard <laughs> like, drinks have you... alcohol. Yeah, yeah, it's the same for over here. Uh, isn't it? No, actually... that's just an alcoholic drink. <laughs> No, an, well, al- an alcoholic drink is a beverages. kid's drink for most of us. I call them carbonated <laughs> beverages. We are Vikings. <laughs> yeah, on the topic of carbonation, I can't drink any of it. Really? Yeah, I can't. Uh, well, I can, but I have horrible reaction belching fits afterwards. Oh, I do I'm as well. <laughs> no, I know. I mean, way worse than normal. Uh, that cat is really Okay, so me. Assassin's Creed. So the first game. Let's start with that one, shall we? Yeah, sorry, but just sorry to butt in here, but I will apologize now. You'll see me yawning a lot because I had a really shit day at work today in the sense that I got there at 8 o'clock, didn't finish until half past 4, and I've been in meetings all day. So I'm just like... That sounds so boring. Oh, so sorry, man. Well, at least you're here. Now you can vent on on your frustration. Yeah, and now I'm like, yes, let's just vent about stuff. (laughs) <laughs> Rip yeah. up those games. Makes it better because you he ate both of these topics. I know, right? Okay. So the first game, you play as LTR. Um, I can't remember his name. Can you spell Altair. that? Altair. Altair. Something Altair. Like that. He's got a last name as well. Who cares? <laughs> so you play as Altair, which is like this kind of master class assassin. But Only you, he's been severely demoted. You get severely demoted because you fuck up, pretty much. And this is during the era of the Crusades, where the Templars were kind of, you know, out in the open. And the whole idea of this game is that you need to redeem yourself by assassinating these uh, key targets. I'm trying very carefully, for people that haven't actually played it, I'm trying not to actually ruin the storyline a little bit. I'll just throw up spoiler warnings. There's, yeah, oh, tons of spoiler warnings. Um... There's, Just there to... is a, uh-huh. like, a yin and yang to the Templars versus the Assassins. It's mm. like the the Templars are all about order and control and peace. And the Assassins, while they also desire peace, desire a peace that is Naturally flavored more to. with freedom and and individuality and, and free will. Yeah. That's generic. Whereas like the your Templars common really don't care so yeah, much. Pretty much. Yeah. Just this. Well, well, I'm I'm now going to enter my first butchering of the game, where okay. his second name, so Altair's second name, yes, is Ibn La Ahad. That's it. Yeah. 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 The, or more commonly yeah, known in the English English. tongue of bless you. <laughs> <laughs> bless you. <laughs> bless you. Oh. He sneezed. <laughs> I like that last name. Al Ahad. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you sneeze, you quite literally go lahad, so you sneeze. His last name is just a sneeze. Mm. Whatever. <laughs> it's kind of nitpicky, but nah, I don't just like because this name. just because you're it's in a tongue that is uncomfortable, unfamiliar to you. Where is uh, El Tayer actually from? Is he from? Isn't it set in June? Just sneezing. It's about the a lot more like lightning going through Jerusalem. a filter. It's he's during like, the Crusades era, so Jerusalem, it's, Damascus. He's in Jerusalem, but I think he's... It's, it's in Jerusalem, Damascus, and a- Acre. Well, Acre. it says it's set in the Holy Land, so I'm going to say that's Jerusalem in that yeah. area. It is, Because yeah. that's what was generally... Uh, Consider the, that, that's the territory Yeah, it's what it was so considered to be. Disputed. Yeah, I mean, that's the area that you play in. You can actually um, open world that as well. 
um, get on horses, go to the different cities, explore the cities and find little collectibles and goodies. The whole game is all about collecting stuff. Oh. Though assassin uh... and, and sightseeing. I, I mean, yeah. that's 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 the way I play Assassin's Creed is. Oh, what's that? I'm going to climb it. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> you can climb anything, which is it's a bit unrealistic. The fact that you can be Spider-Man and Assassin uh, Master or Galore, but it's kind of cool. And you can you can actually fall like fifteen stories into a shallow bale of hay and not break and not your break spine. any bones. Yeah, that's, that's a <laughs> yeah. bit unrealistic, but I'm gonna let it slide because <laughs> it's, it's cool. Yeah, or fall as the case may be. Hmm. Um, the game does. The original game does have a, a repetitive streak, though, which is quite a bad. Bad yeah, thing. I'm not one for repetitive things. I find them yeah. tedious. I mean, I'm not one for repetitive games, but for some reason, Assassin's Creed really uh, kind of it. It works for me mainly because of history, and I actually read all like do- the documents in the first game and what have you. You'll find all the little secrets and then carry on. But yeah, the way it gets really repetitive is that is your the guy who runs the guild, the Assassin's Guild. I cannot remember his name. He goes, "Oh, you must kill this man." And you go, and then okay, you go then you go find out where he is, then you kill him. And then your master gives you a piece of armor, and he goes, great, no, kill these There's... guys! And... and it goes in very <laughs> predictable stages. There, yeah. You've got to do some, some sleuthing and find out where he is, which you do by blending into the crowd and listening in on conversations. and uh, Yeah, and... Beating people yeah. up. I mean, and then, then there's the second stage where you actually have to... Do the you know, go to his location and assassinate him. Yeah, that bit um, um, it changes. The mission changes every now and then, in those actual assassination missions. And then, um, and then there's you know getting out. Yeah, then there's the running away from the city, and the more, <laughs> and then the more that you do it, the more and the or guards like recognize you. Templars. <laughs> yeah, though uh, the last uh, kind of segment, I guess, because it all it's like in DNA segments, like the chapters are. And then the last segment that you do is actually it it completely just throws out what you've just learned, you know, do do search, do mission, run away. It's like oh hang on, I need to do this, 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 this and this. Oh god, story plot, what the hell's going on? And it leaves you in this really big cliffhanger that I remember. Uh. Yeah. And that's when Creed two comes into it. They kind of they kind of go, right, sod the repetitiveness, let's just do missions. Is, the, is Creed 2 the one with Ezio? Yeah, Creed mm-hmm. 2 is with Ezio Aldatore Takes Deferenzi. place in Italy. Yeah, so what I don't understand is how you go from Latin Christianity to Italy. Well, it takes place during the Renaissance period. So it's quite a and, different and the whole... speed, like, distance in time as well. Yeah, there, uh... it, it, it's this is a much different period. The Templars are now kind of underground. Yeah, we're um, looking at about a four to five hundred year gap. Yeah. And I know um Altair and his family, they actually f- go they actually sail away from the Holy Lands and start elsewhere. I know that much. Uh, but um yeah. now now Ezio is, his father was an assassin, but mm. he doesn't know anything about them or the Templars until his father Gets passes murdered. away. Mm. Um, Which is kind of cool, because you actually start the game as this sort of, like, noble Italian stud. You're like, yeah, come on, let's have a little bit of a scuffle. Yeah, and, you know, he's pretty boy, he's got the ponytail and all of this, and you've got the nice kind of leather jacket thing going on. He's a bit of a bad boy, which I kind of like the start in a game off like that. <laughs> so he's a bad boy, but a quote-unquote pretty boy. He's a Well, he's yeah, a he's, boy, yeah. He, he's a pretty he's bad boy. Since why you know me. aristocracy, although his house has fallen on hard times. Yeah. Because his, fa- his dad's a banker. Quotation marks. Banker. <laughs> and, um, yeah. banker. Uh, and, and he basically finds out that his father's murdered and his uncle starts training him to be an assassin. Oh. Yeah, What's the banker, uncle, you mean right? he makes mostly yeah. withdrawals. No, no there's one, this is one thing that annoys me about Creed. This is one of those things that pops up. And re- I mean, I've been recently playing Assassin's Creed 2 because Creed 2, all, the whole kind of storyline of Ezio is what, my favourite Creed kind of uh, like actual part of Creed but there's a bit that just made me kind of stop playing for quite a while like a few hours and that's when you meet your uncle and Ezio doesn't recognise him doesn't know who he is doesn't say anything in the text oh this is your uncle go help him no 
it just goes, it's a me, a Mario. I'm like, oh, that was fuck's sake. Yeah, that is they they actually did that. They actually, he actually they goes, actually it's a me, a that. Mario. <laughs> and actually goes, uncle. It's like, oh, you you would recognize your own uncle, wouldn't you? Come on. Depends on how long. But it depends how long you still. haven't seen him. You can't miss this guy. He's very. <laughs> He's very well, standing outy, and I don't no, know how he's an assassin. I my, okay, I wouldn't expect my niece to recognize me, because the last time I saw her in person, she was this tall. So that's you know, I mean, also... she grew up without me around, hmm. so boy... she would see him on the street and never know. Hmm. The best place to hide is in plain sight. That's true. so true. You Are you an assassin, Kitsune? You know very much about how to hide in public. <laughs> yeah. so hide in public by if not. There's a, if there's a stand, no, standy no. outy person, does that mean there can be standy any persons? Hmm. That's a good I point. suppose so. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about it. Yeah, it's it, called the um, normals. <laughs> yeah, that's quote. true. Yeah. Society's norms. The normals. <laughs> Those people that don't have gigantic scars and blind eyes. <laughs> yeah. Now, there there are some minor differences between the first Assassin's Creed and the second Assassin's Creed. A lot of differences. There are some major differences between the second one and the third one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the second one. The first one, you were given your equipment. Um, that was it. There's no customization there. The second one, you can buy equipment, buy tools, change how you look... Learn new skills. Uh, the control methods stay the same pretty much throughout the whole series, don't they? Really? Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, the the fighting style gets a little more sophisticated as you go. Yeah. They they did make it a bit easier during Brotherhood, I think it was. They made it slightly easier to like counter people, so you can like chain attack and what have you as well. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, and liking the glove there. That's awesome. Ooh. The height of fashion, lime green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joys of bad circulation in hands. My oh. mum knitted these. Really? <clears throat> Crazy. Hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Hey, if anybody wants to know, really? <laughs> take all <orders>. this. <laughs> <Cheap>. We sell for cheap. <laughs> you can't hide now. You're on camera, man. <laughs> no selfless promotion. <laughs> Back to the point. Yeah. Um... <laughs> that's pretty still sucks. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I mean like the Viking styles. Um, the Viking styles throughout the games uh, stayed effectively the same. But I will agree with the fact that they changed slightly towards mm. the latter of them, in the sense that the combats were a little bit more forgiving in how much time it gave you to block and like yeah. parry and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the fighting styles were still very much just. You just constantly tap one button and nothing really changes. No, 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 no. That's not the case at all. I mean, there are attacks that are more effective against, you know, types of attacks that are effective against one type of enemy uh. and and not against others. For example, you, you might parry with one enemy, whereas you would do better to um, dodge and then attack for another. I mean, it, it you, you had to pay attention to who your enemy was. And there was one enemy where if you try to, if you try to, um, like, parry and counter, when you, when you try your counter, he just smacks you across the face and you lose health. Yeah, it's brilliant. Well, technically <laughs> and, speaking, if you're an assassin, everyone is your enemy. Um, no, only the people you're trying to assassinate. It's kind yeah. of strange. I mean, you got the guards who kind of don't like you because you're carrying weapons and stuff. But I know that, like the innocents and the beggars and all that. If you kill them, you actually lose health, which is kind yeah. of nice because it actually tries to keep you within the creed on track. Of the assassins. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Creed and since all of this is all of this is supposed to be taking place in a virtual reality, mm. what it is, what it's called, you've got instead of health, what you've got is synchronization. Yeah. And the farther you stray from your ancestors' way of life, you desynchronize. Pass, the less synchronized you are, and the more likely you are to end and have to start over. Yeah. And okay. otherwise die. Yeah, so if you get killed by, say, a guard, that never happened because he's still going around. So you just restart the memory again. Or the level, as it were. <laughs> and if you kill too many innocents, you stray from the creed, so it restarts you, and that kind of stuff. That's like, if I was going to say one of my biggest, like, 
peeves with the game mm. is that I like I understand the synchronization and all that. Like it's against the creed to kill innocents and blah blah blah. Yeah. But if you're thinking on it in actual like logical terms and what you would do if you was an assassin to either cover your tracks or like disguise yourself mm. is that you would make distractions by say like dropping pots of smoke or fire or even like taking the life of someone else to cause a distraction so that you would get your target to then go and review that and then you can like study what they do from that but no you kill someone it's just like punishment Hmm, I, I suppose when you kill well, the innocents, that happens. But the pots of smoke... And lack stuff, pots of smoke don't cause you to desync. Yeah. You, you no, can, but you like, can that's what I'm saying. All you smoke have to really... diversion, you have You have several diversions that you can use, at least in, in later games. I know the first game wasn't this way, but <laughs> by, by the time you get to AC3, you've got pots of smoke that you can use. You can... You can um, if you're passing urchins... You can toss, or, or any crowd really, you can toss coins out and create a... They all fucking rush to the coins to come pick it all up. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, the big downfall is the lack of can, the first game, because you I can, think they realized... Because it's during be, the yeah. revolution, if you find like a group of protesters, you can rouse them to riot. And you can actually use them for cover as you walk through the streets, because they're rioting and it's all hmm. kinds of chaos. Um, yeah. But that's with the third game, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's only with the third game, but it... Which it, I don't it, actually that, like that they much, actually, believe it or not. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, the third... There are a couple of things that I <laughs> didn't especially like about the third game. I, I, I wasn't too fond of their primary a ancestral character, Connor. Um, I have he, no seemed, he seemed to me like a major brat. Okay. Um, I only thought I played as some English bloke. That was it. And, the, and well, that was no, that was that was his father. The English bloke was his father. Um, oh, okay. And then, huh. yeah, you spend you spend all this time. Uh, spoiler, 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 spoiler. You spend all this time playing as this this English fella who's like very prim and proper tricorner hat. Yes, but, but he's like he it looks like he's trying to you know assist the colonists, and you find out that. He wasn't, or something. Templar. Anyway, but you know, by now everybody's Said very quietly. Is going to play yeah, that. I know. Right? Everybody, everybody who's played that game is everybody who's going to play that game has probably already played it, or at least you know, if Hopefully. you if, if you're complaining about spoilers now, boo hoo. All right. So, um, uh. so, so yeah, so that there, Connor, I I thought was. A bit of a brat, um, and the strangely enough, the one of the key elements that was unique to three, as opposed to the previous games, the ship battles. The ship battles. The ship battles, I thought, were really boring. I mean, <laughs> when when they showed, you know, Connor on his ship and yay and boats and piracy and all kinds of stuff, <laughs> I was. I was thinking, oh, cool! Shipboard battles. Yeah. We're going to we're going to board ships and swash and buckle and all that piracy stuff. All that piracy <laughs> stuff. And no, you float in circles, throwing rocks at another boat. <sighs> Woo! Fun. So, okay, those those are my complaints about that game. But it still had. I mean, as far as the elements that I enjoyed from the previous two games, yeah. which were stealth, you know, being able to handle things stealthily and sneak yeah. my way through and elim and reduce fatalities and be all sneaky, sneaky, hidey, hidey, crouch and stab and uh, aerial attacks. I love aerial attacks. Um, I think she likes the game. <laughs> you know that st that was that was still a key part of what I enjoyed about three. Um, the location finding, Easter eggs, the all of the you know stuff gathering collectibles and stuff that was fun. Um, the the environment the uh, the environment of a colonial U.S. was not as fun to explore mm -mm. for me as nah, you know. Renaissance Europe. 
Because I, I mean, would the prefer to go back to that sort of a era or go to Asia or something. Yeah, Asia would be awesome. It would be mm. cool to see some new landmarks. Because one of the things I loved about Assassin's Creed, I, I play Assassin's Creed like a major tourist. It's like, oh, ooh, what's that? I'll go look at it. Let me see what it looks like from here. Ooh. It, does, it actually gives it, you like text as well on certain buildings, like what yeah. they're used for and what have you. Yeah, and they and they give you background, you know, of how what their what their place was in history and that sort of thing. In in AC two, you have these wonderful towering like cathedrals and mm. you know and stuff and you get these little courthouses and churches and stuff in three and everything's just, like minute and dirty it's just uh, eh. yeah. <laughs> it's like going into like a new minecraft server and this everything's just not even built yet it's just like half built shit you know just like oh uh. <laughs> yeah, you but it I mean? was the colonies, so I they suppose, were. It yeah. was half built. That was, I guess, kind of the point. I suppose, yeah. The games just got worse from there, in my opinion. I only, I mean, before the show, we were talking about ga Creed games that have come out that I didn't even know existed. Um, let's see. After Creed Four, Black Flag, we got Liberation. What the hell's Liberation? I'd never even heard of that game before. And there's another one as well, uh, Freedom Cry. When did this one even was... I don't... Yeah, I just I don't like the have name. the time or money to play everything that I want. Apparently it's a standalone game, it says. No shit. <laughs> so it's not part of the Assassin's Creed franchise? I don't know, let's have a little read about this game. Born a slave, Edelweir found freedom as a pirate aboard Edward Kenway's ship. The Jack Door, 15 years later, Adelwell has become a trained assassin who finds himself shipwrecked in St. Dominique. Without weapons or crew, he now has to acquire a ship and gathers his own crew to free the slaves and avenge them. Over three hours of new single player gameplay. Is it me or has Assassin's Creed become. Pirates Pirate. of the Caribbean? <laughs> Apparently, Pirates of the Caribbean Pir is Disney. It is, yes. I never knew that. Didn't you? Until the Disney yeah, sale went on Steam. Yeah, yeah they, uh, they, didn't, they, didn't they have the Lego Pirates of the Caribbean on sale recently as well, didn't they? Yeah, but uh, like I can understand Lego Pirates of the Caribbean being Disney, but I didn't know that like the actual Pirates of the Caribbean franchise was Disney. I uh, never knew that. Yeah, it's no, Disney. No, yeah, you, 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 the, the reason... yeah, Okay. Pirates <laughs> of the Caribbean has always been... Uh, yeah, Disney. Because it was based on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride from Disneyland in California. Hmm. That's true. But nobody likes California, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So I think we've I think we've talked a lot about Assassin's Creed as just what it is and how yeah. you know so, and what what makes it playable. So I would now recommend I wanna, getting Creed Two. Creed Two is the best. <laughs> Creed 2 to be honest it sounds more like a tourist trap to me than an actual game yeah I mean if if you like a bit of history <laughs> mixing with a bit of fantasy <laughs> uh oh uh oh yes Tyrion <laughs> yes <laughs> you have the floor man yeah go for it I'll put you on the spot look here you go eee, the lights right on you he put himself you. on the spot with the coughing <laughs> inconspicuous no, I just I, I've already said my views where one is bad enough, they tried to rectify it with two, it got a little bit better in two, and then they just ruined it in three, four, and God knows however many more they made. But it was at the point, the point where I gave up on the series was where three almost got taken off the shelves because they advertised whaling, um, okay. and then the boats were just bad anyway, like the, the boat battles were bad, and yeah. it still just, even though, like, I, I accept Terra's... Um, I don't know the word for it. Not so much argument, but I accept her views on it not so much being, you know, just a one-click scenario battle, but it was, in the sense, one-click scenario battles, because it was just kind of the same thing over and over, with no real like, mix-up in it. If it was one enemy, it was one enemy. If it was another enemy, it was another enemy. You couldn't really mix the fighting styles between those enemies, because it either... Hmm didn't work at all, or it did work, so you were locked into it in that sense. Okay, that makes sense. You had to do it whereas, a certain way to beat them, sort of thing. Whereas if I say, like, 
uh, Burley, I think it was actually you who said this, going back to what I said about oh. the new uh, <laughs> Shadows of Mordor game that came out, yeah. you said that it's very much like uh, Assassin's Creed. When I saw the and, trailer of it, it looked like uh, Creed but in Mordor. Me. Yeah, I'll agree to it in the point that yeah. it do, it is very parkour based and it does have similar fighting styles. Okay. But every enemy is different in the sense that you find out their strengths and weaknesses and you're not locked into using that one strength or weakness. Because sure. you can fight them with weaknesses to make okay. your life a hell lot more difficult, or you can fight them with extreme ease because you use like you ride a giant fucking I can't Eagle. even say the name of them because they're like these really big dogs with massive teeth and oh, sharp wargs. claws. Are and... they wargs? No, they're not wargs. They're actually named something different. Ah. Uh, but you literally ride into battle, they see it, shit themselves and run off, and then you just run up behind them and maul them to death. <laughs> or you can run up to them and try and kill them with a bow, which makes That's your life so difficult because you have limited ammo, so you then have to, like, Fight them with the bow to get their health down, and then you have to drain some enemies, and then you oh. carry on fighting them with the bow. But it makes it difficult and makes it fun. Whereas Assassin's Creed, you're just like, yeah, I'm just going to hit you with this big sword, or yeah, I'm yeah. going to get a pole arm out and just stab you with a pole arm, and then I have to fight with this weapon. See. And then if you try and fight with anything else, it just doesn't work and you die. So or you if, have to run away. So if Creed had a bit more diversity with um, the people, rather than them having sort of like um, Groups, as we call them. Yeah, if they if they weren't groups and they actually enemies. had their individuality, like you say, you had one guy in heavy mail, big bulky bloke, he's very slow, and then you had another big bulky bloke coming at you, but he's missing an armband or something, so he can swing like a mace or something at you much better. You prefer it if it was very, very varied in that sort of way. Is this, is kind of what you're saying? Yeah, basically, it would just be nicer if the game had more diversity to do it mm. in the sense of what you can actually do. Because other than that, it is literally just a thing of you climb a building, find your target, kill them, mm. use eagle vision to find where you're going back to, hide in a crowd, kill some more people. Oh, that eagle vision, yeah. <laughs> I forget yeah, that. Yeah, nobody mentioned that eagle... Like, the one thing I will like about it, uh. and it's something that um, Shadows of Mordor have done as well, is you kind of have, like, an eagle vision in that. Okay. In the sense that, whereas Assassin's Creed, you used the eagle vision, and you saw... Uh, red, which was your target, green, red. which were friendly, I think and red, I think... Red, red's for enemies, green's for friendly, blue is innocent, and then you got the gold, flashy gold is, this is the guy you need to kill! And it blinds yeah. everything else out, yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's one thing that I really liked about the game, because yeah. you could climb, like, the biggest bloody tower in sight, and then and use evil fishing, and kind of just be like, I'm coming for you. <laughs> And then hop across the buildings until you get to him, and then you just drop uh, off and stab him in the head, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, that's done. I love the dropping off and stabbing in the head. To be fair, I've never actually used Eagle Vision unless the mission tells me to. I never use it. Yeah, I I, I prefer the challenge of finding <coughs> him, like other. I just visuals. forget I have it to can be if I'm entirely honest. Oh, I just well, I just the, the reason I use it so much is because I done a playthrough of the first game. Oh, uh, yeah. An entire playthrough with not like without being spotted. Nice. So every single character would die without being spotted. They would all die silently. Nice. Well done. <laughs> Quite a few games have done this now. So you've got um, Assassin's Creed have done it in a few of their games. You get an achievement for being silent in every kill. Nice and one, yeah. you also have Dishonored, which have done it. You get Dishonored. Yep. The entire, if you go the entire game without killing someone, you get an achievement. If you go the entire game without being spotted, you get which, an achievement. I've done that one. I've, I've I've gone through the entire game without killing a single person. I've yet to play Dishonored. I'm thinking I might do a Let's Play. Dude, oh, it's, oh, it's good. Oh, it Dishonored is, is good. awesome. Okay. I was thinking I, I might do a Let's I'm Play sorry. where I don't kill anyone. Just I like first time. Oh. <laughs> is I, it hard? I have, I oh, yeah. I'm sorry, guys, but I am in a lot of pain, and I need to step away from the stream for a moment. Okay. If you're not. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. I've just, I, I. Okay. <laughs> she has gas. That's <laughs> not gas. Rum. You're gonna see the door fly open in a second. And just slam back. There we go. <laughs> and then there was free. Now we're all looking for it. <laughs> yeah, but this. Just see the screen shake. <laughs> I was thinking of uh, Dishonored. I, was, I I haven't played it, and I've been looking to play uh, a game to get into, but I want to do it for my channel. And I thought Dishonored, never played it. There's a whole thing you can, you know, don't kill anyone in the whole thing. I was like, oh, okay, I like a challenge. Let's try this. I'm an assassin that doesn't kill. Yay! <laughs> oh no, I mean like it's 
you kill in the sense that you kill your targets, but you kill, you don't kill in the sense that all of the guards, like, hmm. there are two possible achievements for this. There's an achievement for not killing a single guard, okay. which is really, really hard, and okay. I'll explain but fun why. To do. <laughs> but fun to do, and I'll explain why. But there's another achievement huh. for going through the entire game without being spotted. So that you, is even harder, kind of. If you manage to get both achievements in one playthrough, you are an absolute legend. Because Challenge to accepted. not kill a single person, <laughs> you have to go the entire game okay. with a maximum of five sleep darts. And okay. I, you can't upgrade the amount. Like With a crossbow you get, you can upgrade the optics, which does accuracy. You can increase the damage of the bolts. You can increase the maximum amount of bolts, okay. but you can't increase the, ama the maximum amount of sleep darts you carry. But in turn, you can increase... Uh, the effectiveness of the sleep darts to effectively turn them into um, like uh, horse tranquilizers. Okay. So if you shoot someone with it, they'll die. Oh. Um, so that's obviously an optional upgrade, and all the others are optional as well. But not being able to upgrade the amount of sleep darts you get make it so difficult, but so fun at the same time, <laughs> because you have to really choose where you use your sleep darts. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're in the situation where you have someone walking towards you, you know you're going to be spotted, but you can't move, otherwise you'll get spotted, you're kind of like... time to sleep them. <laughs> sleep! Yeah. I love how you're doing like, the anime the thing there. That was really good. It's like, sleep, move, now! <laughs> sleep, move, I think one of my favorite <laughs> things of Dishonored was actually hiding the bodies. Yeah, but then to make breathe, things but... worse, we're not gonna have time for Walking Dead, are we? You have to yeah, like too. crank them and then mm -hmm. hide the bodies. Otherwise, they'll find the body and go, "Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Let's announcements let's alarm!" Oh no! <laughs> oh, yeah, we, <laughs> funny how we started talking about a game that we didn't even plan on talking about. And this well, is this know, is what's good about the podcast. It's, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's <laughs> organic. Yeah. And Sorry, it's, it's, cool. it's kind of assassin esque, you know. You you play yeah. as an assassin. It's along that vein where there's a lot of stealth involved and yeah. and targets that you have to um, deal with. Hmm. I was going to say eliminate, but no, it's really you know you have you have options. Psst. Um, hey guys, maybe what? next time I should just have a genre of game rather than just one. <laughs> 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 I actually suggested that in the beginning. <laughs> but it, it does seem like it's a bit better. But I know uh, Terra wanted to talk about Walking Dead as well. well. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Walking Dead. <laughs> zombies. Arr. Zombies? Zombies are fun! Arr. 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 I like zombies. Yeah, your generic zombie survival show. Again. It's not generic, and it's not even a zombie survival show. It's a drama set in the zombie apocalypse. Based off a really, the, it the, makes the, it the, worse. The I hate dramas. Story... <laughs> The story of The Walking Dead takes place between the survivors and their relationship with each other, not so much, you know, oh my god, there are zombies trying to kill us. Um, it's, based on, it's based on a comic book. The comic book is really well written. They've done a good job of keeping to the, um, the, the spirit of the comic book without making everything identical to it. Um, I, I, I began watching it with someone who had actually read the entire series, and he wow. said, I have no idea what's going to happen next, but I can't wait to find out. Um, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, um, there's, a lot, there's a lot to be said for the writing on the show. Okay. Now, the, the reason why I'm bringing it up is that we are, it's this weekend, we are starting season five of The Walking Dead, and season four ended on a major cliffhanger. Uh. Um, the, the entire season... Well, the last half of the season, the first half of the season, everyone seemed to be in a very secure season. location, um, and Happy they days. it looked like they were really building a community, and that they were actually making progress and having some, you know, style of civilization again, and then they got attacked, and the whole thing went to hell, and they all got split up for the second half of the series, yeah. after the after the season, the the season break in the middle. Yeah. Um... So it followed, you know, different groups of survivors from that attack um, and what happened to them en route to this place called Terminus. Terminus. That sounds like from something else, actually, as well. Well, Terminus is... It, 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 
it means the end. It's it's the ah. end of the line. And the reason why they called the why it was called terminus, or the reason it seemed to be called terminus, is that it was based that it was built around the the kind of the um a train train depot thing, and it was supposed to be the end of what you're pointing at. Well, I'm listening. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so um, <laughs> so it was based. It was based at a tra train depot, which you know, terminus would be the final stop on the train. And they found that out through. And there are um, signs all over the place saying, "Come to terminus. It's safe here. Everyone's welcome. You you know, all who arrive survive. Yada yada yada." And 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 as the survivors are are moving along this route, huh. they all find these signs and they go, "Well, you know, we might be able to meet the rest of our party there if." if if it turns out that this place is as good as all that, we may end up staying. But at least it's you know everybody's seeing these signs, so that's the place where where they'll probably be headed. Well, it was that, and they also um, when I can't remember who it was, but um, I know one of them was Daryl, and then there was like a couple of others with him. But they they went on like a scouting party or something like that. Because they went, they went out to find something and ended up hearing the um, scrambled radio message about Terminus, and then they started right. finding all the signs and everything. So, mm. so they're all moving their way towards Terminus, and each one of them is, you know, each group of survivors is having their own adventures along the way. They murder a little girl, and um, you know, because she's a raging psychopath. Um, yeah, as you do in every day. Sure, life. her brain, her brain is broken. Um, <laughs> her brain is broken. broken. Let um, us feast upon them. I so, mean, so okay. So they get so 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 they finally get to terminus, and the first thing I notice is there's hardly any. Nope. Um. Nope. Oh, we lost sound. <laughs> yeah. Um. That'll be the cat. Cabot. Cabot found the mute button. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cabot's adorable. Um. He's so so the bag. first thing the first thing I notice when they arrive is that. There's there's hardly anybody there, and the second thing I notice is that I can't un unlike the the base they had in the prison, they're not gardening. They aren't going out. They don't. I don't see any place for them to actually go hunting because it's in a city, hmm. and yet they've got all this food. I mean, they're cooking. They're 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 they're, they're like stir frying, you know, and stuff and food, and so I'm like, okay, so there's hardly anyone there. And they've been every everybody's been coming here, and they're telling these people are cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm just waiting because oh, it's all it's all too good to be true, you know. And they all start trying to eat oh, each yeah. other. And <laughs> and and then you realize that they're okay. So they start moving the 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 arrivals, the new arrivals through this narrow area and they end up in this locker and they're and 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 now they're in this this big storage locker i'm like holy hell they're in the pantry <laughs> so, <laughs> so the i menu. fully yeah i fully expect season five to open with um you they know you have days. a choice of either oh my join, God. you know the ones they want to join them and the ones they want to eat they're going you know i'm there there's there's going to be some kind of drama going on there oh, I'm, you're my. fat i feel sorry for you there's no choice for you yeah jeez that's and what is, <laughs> do you guys um did you guys ever see the original judge dread film any chance? No, I, I have not. I did, with, with but Stallone. it was very long ago. There, there's like the cannibals in that. It is, uh, what's it? You got Stallone and this weird little weedy guy who's like a hacker. They're out in like the wasteland in the deserts, and they meet this religious family. I can't remember what they call them, but um, Stallone and his mate are all like they're tied up on posts. You know, very like. Oh! What the fuck's gonna happen? And this, and the little weedy guy starts, you know, praising the Lord and all this, and the other these, this family of religious people go, cut him down. He's one of the faithful. Great, let's eat him. And they finally start dragging him off to this body being cooked on a <laughs> sacred roast. meat. Sacred meat. And that, it, oh, seriously, God. they've got one of these guards from the ship that they crashed in, and he, they're just spit roasting this entire man body. You just see that like, it's cooked like muscle and everything. It's bloody horrible. <laughs> yeah, they were a lot more subtle. <laughs> about it in Walking Dead. Tyrion's just was... flapping his jaw there. I don't... Are you alright there? 
Um, nom nom nom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought there wasn't sound for him. For yeah. Uh, I wonder if there's a line in the, the Judge Dredd film where, um, what is it? It's like, oh, I want his ear. Or something like that. It's like, what the hell? Good God. <laughs> Very good film. If you have never watched it, you need to see it. It's just, oh, it's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, it sounds cheerful. I mean, I'm trying to think, like, this might sound really fucked up and weird, and don't ask me why I've just remembered this. Okay. It may be from a game, or it may have been from a conversation that I've had with my ex. <clears throat> okay. But, I think <laughs> there was some kind of psychopath that used to... M- oh, I think it was actually a psychopath in America from a good while back now, but when he killed his victims, he would cut off their nipples and then make a belt out of it. What? <laughs> I think there was actually a psychopath in America that done that. And he made a belt out of their nipples. And he made jewellery out of their body parts. That's different. That's, that's That puts a whole, new ter- a whole new meaning to the term insane. Yeah, I mean, t- a-, a plus for creativity for the guy or gal. <laughs> I have to say, yeah, sure. yeah, I mean, <laughs> but fucked up to the max. <laughs> Jeez, that's some. I, okay, we've got ten minutes left. Do we want to do announcements? <gasps> I think How is Cabot even sitting like that? <laughs> it looks I can't tell how she's sitting. She's oh, a cat. It's a Cats cat. They have liquid, liquid mode. They have liquid mode. It's awesome. Have, have you ever tried <laughs> picking up a cat? I have. It liquid just doesn't mode. work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I pick up my cat, his arms, well, his front paws are like that, and his back paws are just like that. Like, he just kind of melts in the middle. Yeah, and just liquid mode. So over my arms. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's really weird, because they seem very solid, and all of a sudden... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she excels at that. She's very slippery sometimes. Yeah, she's very um, energetic. Ma- mind if I do a quick plug for her page, as long as we're on the subject? Well, I was actually just going to oh, mention, sure. she's up for adoption. Yeah, That's why I kind um, of bought it. Mm. Yeah, this is Cabot, and um, also known today as we have an appointment too. with uh, <laughs> Friends for Life. Yep. Um, she's she's going to be intake into their program. If you are in or around Houston, or you might find yourself in and around Houston, um, then by all means, feel free to contact twilight.terra at gmail.com, and we might be able to arrange a meeting. Mm. Um, we would be happy to keep her ourselves. Unfortunately, we already have more cats in the house than people. Yeah. <laughs> and my cat doesn't like the fact that Cabot seems to think I'm mommy. No. Um, so, yeah. Um, she also has a Facebook page. It's Cabot Needs a Home. Yeah. And then you can find adorable pictures of her on there. Looking yeah, she is a beautiful cat. I would love to have her myself, but I am far away from Houston. And can't pay for ship. <laughs> I, I would happily take her, but... Different country. Farther away. I'm fine, and, thanks. And you can getting keep the cat. getting animals across <laughs> national borders would be even more interesting. Me and cats don't generally get on, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would look after. But cats... You get on with me and kitten. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, but you two are fine. <laughs> but no, most cats in general, they sort of just, they jump on my lap. They look really innocent and like, I love you. Nah, claw your legs! I will no, make you a cripple! That's ah! their no, way of showing affection. affection. It hurts. They, um, it's pretty much needing like a kitten does with its mom yeah, when they ever feeding. Yeah, that's how they get milk. That, that, that's... It's a sign yeah, that they do not acknowledge even you think as about a giving that cat your milk. It's a sign that they acknowledge but you as their my, parent. My tits are big yes. enough. I'm probably filled with milk. That's probably why my, my tits ache. I just need to start squeezing it out or something. I don't know. It's changing the subject. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Other announcements. I we care not for your... Burly craft, yeah. burly craft server. We have other announcements. Burley has recently opened a shop for breastfeeding. <laughs> Find all your burly breast needs at burlycraftbreast.com. <laughs> now, we need to, now we need to make a burlycraftpress.com and it will be a big square boob. It's just going to be me holding my... my, my no, what we need to do is, is, is what we're going to set up is a, a big white square room with one singular hole in the wall 
that Burley just kind of pushes his nipple through, <laughs> and people can come and <laughs> lick at just... their own discretion. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a glory hole for breastfeeding. How do you how do you get how do you get into these? Sweetheart. Well, you open the door and then you just kind of <sighs> lean over to the. <laughs> <laughs> or were you talking about the conversation? The conversation. Uh, I, I, I have I have a habit of getting in like situations like this. Like, um, how did you know that picture that you posted on the Better Men's Gaming Safe House page? Yeah, that was that, that was, that was so funny. Long. That was that funny. Was hilarious. funny. And also the time when I was playing uh, some games with Serpian and uh, Fancy Ham with CJ. Oh man. Yeah. And we ended up calling him Fungus Boy. I don't know how, but that name suddenly stuck to me. Stuck to me. Whatever. <laughs> English. Fungus Boy. <laughs> Speaking of Fungus Boy and all that, I am planning on doing a little animation with the help of Terra, because she's an amazing artist. And I wanted to do a, sort of like a Burly Man shorts. Uh oh. Sort of superhero esque sort of thing. And Fungus Boy is my sidekick. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Congrats, oh. CJ. More voice acting work. Yeah, I was thinking Tyrion could play the bad guy as well, since he's English. Yeah. Why am I the voice bad guy? Because you're English. Because you're English. Yeah, exactly. Have you have you watched like any movies? Uh, English, <laughs> they're all evil. <laughs> technically speaking, I that. technically speaking, though, since I'm English, Birdie Man's going to be a villain as well. But you know, just <laughs> you'll be an anti-hero. And hey, I'm not the Punisher, just without the punishing. <laughs> I'm the anti-punisher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anti-punisher. What? Uh, have you guys got any announcements to make for your channel and what have you? What I... about Burly Craft Server? I thought Burly Craft Server. I we mentioned that already. We didn't we say did? what it what it was about or where people would ask for the oh, thing or any, yes, you know, there, you... there's a new Burly Craft Server. I thought these guys were talking about. It. Sorry, I've been laughing my ass off, but. <laughs> There's a new Burley Craft <laughs> server which uh, can count, currently have up to about 50 odd people, but it will grow when need be. So, uh, if anyone would like to join said Burley Craft server, uh, a place where it's going to be completely safe from griefing, but from monsters and players, um, with a you lot grief, of it, I grief you. Or you will be hit by the police, i.e., CJ. Excuse me. Um, just oh, and f- don't piss off Subby. Oh. <laughs> oh. Or me, actually. Or you. Well, I am up. rather. Fond yeah, don't, of don't, stuff. don't. Just don't piss us off. <laughs> just play nice. Be, be nice to everyone. Yeah, play nice. Be is, that, that, that is that is really what it's what we're asking for. Yeah, for, I mean that's, that's what the Burning Man server is to play nice. About. It's all about having fun. So if you want to join us, just uh, leave me a message or uh, leave one of us a message because it will get to me eventually. And uh, I'm sure someone can give you the IP address because we tend not to have it laying around just so we don't actually get griefers popping in. And we like to vet people before they get full access. So yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, give us a little shout on the uh, the comments below or you know whatever. <clears throat> uh, oh, extra life. We're doing extra life. I knew that. I knew there was something else I was going to talk about. Extra life. That Saving was an children. Extremely important one. That was an important one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for extra life. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, yes. I'm a little confused how it's going to work though. The URL Back. to. The um, donations page for Extra Life for Burly Man's um, page. Is and the team in, page. Mm. The, and the team page. Yeah. Uh, what there's Burly a, Man there's goes a link on the Twitch channel, I think, isn't there? Uh, there is a link to all of the stuff that the Safe House is on. So that's Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitch as well. And when this, vid- when this podcast goes up on YouTube, I'm going to put it all in the description as well. That's fine. And 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 Tyrion, he's not, he's part of the team actually. Yeah, we have a act. We yeah, have a, a real life team. Yeah, we have six members in this team. So, and and yeah, so, so I've got those... the team one and my personal one. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. We all, each, every one yeah, of us has a personal. Everyone on the team has a personal, and if you whatever you donate to a person's personal page, It'll it update. counts towards the team's goal. Yeah. And um. And for those who do not know what Extra Life is, Extra Life is like a marathon only for geeks. Huh. Um, <laughs> it's um, where we can't run. It, it raises money to assist um, low-income families who, with children who have extreme medical conditions that mm-hmm. require hospitalization. Um, it helps pay for the programs that enable those families to receive medical care in the United States and Canada. Yep. And um, 
I mean, we're all like, uh, we're donating to different hospitals, all of us. I, well, actually, are we all donating to the same one? I can't. Uh, well, I'm donating the... to the same one as you, Barley. Which okay. is the, uh, was it the McLeod's? McLeod. McLeod, McLeod. Hospital. I think mine was at Erlinger Hospital. There we go. We all Maybe. have like, all the money that we make is going to go off to all these kids that need saving as well. <laughs> just, not not just to have a bright future, but just to have a future. Yeah, just to have um, a future, yeah. Yeah, just, just to have a future, because everybody deserves one. Exactly. 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 So, so there, the, the idea is that people donate money, and um, our part of the bargain is that we are going to spend Subject ourselves 20... to Four <laughs> hours in a row, or as near to that as we can. A 24-hour um, game. Not really torture for me. I'm used stream. to it. Gaming. Yeah, I'm used to it. We're, we're going to game for, for 24, 24 hours. hours straight, and we have decided as a team that we will be doing this live on this channel right here. On Twitch. On October 25th. 25 October? Yeah, barely. Are you going to and, be and Tyrion is um, suggesting that it's going to be on his channel as well on Twitch, which is also going to be in the description. <laughs> Did to be guys. honest, I might actually record it myself and just post it on my channel. No! Let's just, yeah, let's just get it out there. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah. Not going to live stream it, my I, I I don't put games on, on my channel. I put art. She, stuff put, she puts pretties on there, but not lately. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can't art, art, so. But yeah, we're gonna be doing it for twenty-four hours. We will have breaks because there's no way I'm gonna be sitting here holding my bladder for twenty-four hours. That's gonna be ridiculous. And we're gonna play a, a number of games. We're gonna just have moments where we're just gonna be talking pail, like we are. We're gonna do like a yeah, put a pail podcast. under your desk, and that way you can just you know Ew. relieve yourself. Right? No. Ew. Okay. You can just get a catheter installed while we were doing it. Yeah, yeah. catheter. Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I was saying, different games. We're going to have like, a special podcast during the stream as well, and we're also going to hold a competition for people that actually donate. Every dollar that you donate, you're going to put get your name into a special prize draw where you can get yourself a Safe House Savior T-shirt, which I'm still trying to design, and I need Tara to help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, I didn't realize I had been volunteered <coughs> for that. I, I did ask you the other day. <laughs> oh, I've probably slept since then. I'm sorry. I'll yes. get right on it. <laughs> That's all right. We can talk about it in a minute. Um, and this is actually going to happen. We might as well tell them what, when it's going to happen. This is going to be at uh, 12 noon GMT uh, on the 25th of October. 12 noon GMT. What time would that be for me? That would be 6, six in the hours. 6 in the morning for you. Okay. And it's going to be a fun so day for me. 25th to the 26th, <laughs> we're going to be probably dead by the end of it. But I'm looking forward to the nap afterwards. That's going to be oh, amazing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to be lots... awake at least 30 hours, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, maybe a few lots will be dead afterwards, but from the 25th to the 26th, I'm live streaming. 27th to the 28th is my birthday, and then I'm Whee! back to work on the Wednesday. So, come Wednesday, I'm going to be walking into work and then just go... A day, <laughs> a day. I'm dead of the world. You look like the God Emperor on the Golden Throne. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna. That's be one of the fun. joys of my job. Like because I work a, a 52 week year, none of the kids will be in school, so I'm gonna be literally sitting in the office with music playing out loud on my desk, just going. <laughs> 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 Nobody will care. That's the best part. You can just put a sign uh, over you as well, saying sorry. Burly man did this to me, and then have that picture from Minecraft on there. <laughs> Leave me alone! Hey! <laughs> I hope that doesn't become. Actually, no. I kind of hope it does become a meme. <laughs> I'm gonna. I blame Starla. You always blame Starla. Oh, CJ, you might need to explain. Um, you know, in yeah, the that actually came up in an episode of Furthercraft Adventures. You mentioned being as insane as Starla, but. <laughs> Nobody knows who Starla is who doesn't regularly chat with Starla you. Starla is CJ's youngest, or my only sister. She's younger than me two, by two years. Oh. And she's the one that's yeah, she like, game. And yeah, she's the one that bought me a game. She's just keeping me insane by not bringing it to me. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> There's you play, I mean, it's Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> but yeah, check out that series. It's a very funny series. I might, I might even might post it on other sites as well. Because I am very proud of it. Very, very proud of that sort of series. And I'm very proud of how you do um, your part, CJ, as well. 
you're like very serious and then all of a sudden you go mental and pervy just in every single episode you go very very normal and then you change halfway through <laughs> Blood very twist. Funny. I have multiple personalities mm. he is the joker <laughs> Tyrion is apparently thumbing that one up <laughs> I don't like clowns <laughs> that's true yeah totally Joyce like of Bipolar. It makes life interesting it does it really does. <laughs> so, have you guys got anything that you want to share? Like, you know, what's happening your end? Like, too, and you've got any new Let's Plays coming up or whatever? Because you've got a channel on YouTube. I do have a channel. Um, one thing, you know what? Whilst we were talking about um, Assassin's Creed, hmm. uh, I was admittedly browsing through Steam, um, <laughs> just seeing what deals were on, see if we could raise anything about that. Um, and I noticed on the front page they are now advertising Final Fantasy Thirteen. Really? And I'm like, which you'll probably notice halfway through if anybody watches this back. I was making strange Final faces whilst I was looking through all the pictures because they look absolutely gorgeous. But apparently, oh, it's yeah. locked to seven twenty, seven twenty p. And when I read through the reviews of it, yeah. There is only one review there that says recommended, and the guy's played an hour of it. I'm just like... And then you read the rest of them, and it's 0.6 hours on record, and they've reviewed it saying it's bad. 0.3 hours on record saying, do not buy this game. 0.6 hours on record. It's like, you I know what, if you're going to review a game, at least play, say, really 5 to 10 it. hours of it, and then send a review. Don't play <laughs> yeah, 6 hours. Like, don't play less than an hour, and then start bitching about it, because everybody knows... The start of a game is going to be shit because you have nothing. Mm. And I really don't understand why Final Fantasy XIII gets so much hate. They're like, oh, the characters are shit. The storyline is shit. But I guess it looks okay. How would they know anything music. about the storyline in less yeah. than an hour? Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm trying to argue about. It, it yeah. really pisses me off when people do this. Yeah. But you know what? I don't care because that game is genuinely gorgeous the way it looks. It has a really nice storyline that you can yeah. easily follow. Yeah. Whether or not it follows in line with the rest of the Final Fantasies doesn't matter. Because does. <laughs> let's take a look at the Assassin's Creed, for instance. Later on in the games, it has piss all to do with the start of the series. It has pirates. Well, it has with, pirates. With Final and Fantasy, where does though? pirates come into assassins in, you know, like, pre-Christ... Um, <laughs> Living and all this kind of stuff. It's like, it doesn't, so shut up. Your argument isn't valid. But then again, but, with Final Fantasy, with all parents. the numbers, they're always a different world as well and a different story. I've noticed as My well. My point is that. Yeah. But back to what I was saying. Um, I have... A bup. And oh, I have... God. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I have gap. Um, I've got two playthroughs at the moment. One of them a single player of Dragon Age 2. Yeah. Um, which is struggling. I'm I'm really struggling to play it because yeah. um, Dragon Age One I absolutely loved. Yeah. Uh, the first Dragon Age I loved. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm somewhat looking forward to the third one. Okay. But unfortunately, the second one ruined it for me because it's too focused in one place. It's like you go from the main town to a mission, and then back to the main town, and then to a mission, and back to the main town, and you just constantly kind of bounce between things back to the main town. Okay. Even when you progress through the story, you still go back to the main town. It's, it's just too locked in for me. Um, so okay. I'm really trying to play through it, because I do enjoy parts of it, but there are just little parts that really get at me that are bugging it. Huh. Um, other than that, I've got my Dead Island playthrough, which I'm currently doing with a friend of mine, Dragon Akis. Um, sometimes also if I'm awake enough and don't really care about the next F work, then I will play it with Terra, but that's kind of a off series thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that's happening a lot more recently, or that's happening more, hopefully, because, um, uh, Dragon Axis is actually moving to a different location and uh... he's also, well, he's just been moving. That's why he's been taken out of gaming recently. Right. Um, and work decided, he lives in Scotland. Okay. <laughs> um, and work decided to go, oh, let's send him down south for a week. So he's been closer to me for the week, although I haven't actually met up with him or had any time because he's been working, I think, eight till six. Wow. And then wow. having to go back to a hotel that had like very poor wireless and all that. So okay. that's the joys of that. But um, he's now back and he's moving. And once all that gets unpacked and he's actually feeling better, then that'll start up again. Yeah. Um... 
I might also be doing some arcade stuff. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Stuff. Um, <laughs> possibly, maybe, possibly Dead Rising 3, if I can get it sorted to a point where it's playable, because Dead Rising 3 on the PC is just horrendous right now. Mm. Um, and maybe if I can poke CJ into it, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, there might be some recordings of God Mode. Ah, hell yeah. Yeah, okay. And I'm we may even it. get Sabi involved in that. Ooh. Yeah. That sounds yeah. good to me. Cool. Depends on if she actually likes the game or not. Uh, she's not one for a shooter, shoot 'em up game. Hmm. Well, she. I've had a conversation with her, and she did seem genuinely interested in it. There we go. She yeah, which confuses brought, me. No, she brought it up to me and suggested that I get it so that I could play with you guys. So... I because the thing is, it's not, not like, out. it's not a one to four. No, Burley, she brought up you as well. Okay. Because yeah. I was in the call as well, and she said, um, it may be something that you and Burley should look into because you two would really enjoy it, and we might all be able to get together and play it. That's because what she the said. thing That's is, what I said. it's not locked into a well, that is what you one said. to four. Like, it's, I think the maximum you can have is actually 16. So, be wow. it a stream or be it a recording session or what, we may actually be able to have just one mass. Burly safe house gaming session hmm. where we all get together and just have a right roll bubble. Sounds good to me. That could be a uh, part of the um, extra life uh, live stream actually. Ooh. And it's only I'm available. On, it's only I'm for already, two dollars. Right I'm already now, looking at the Steam store. Hold on. Yeah, I'll have a look at that myself. Right now it's yeah, now yeah, it's, it's, it's on sale. Dollar, as well, so if wait, it's a dollar ninety nine. It's yeah, currently it's on sale. sale. If you're going to get it, go and get it now because it's on sale and it's ridiculously cheap. To the, really to the store! It's ridiculous. To the store! It's 80% off. I know. It's only, two, it's only two bucks. Which is only like <laughs> a, a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a The narrator in it also is hilarious. But, 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 but. Just, a, just, a, just, a, just, a, just, just a squeak over a pound. One pound. The narrator is hilarious. Okay. Ends oh, the hello. Of Welcome to Hades. You're going to spend the rest of your life here. Oh, hello. Welcome to Hades. That's hell with a toga. Is that something... You know what? That's, it's one i I'm just going to get it just because. Wait, 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 wait. Is that... Is it something that your dad might be interested? Because we could get the... Four the, pack? The four pack. Uh, well, I'm, say, I'm putting it out there now. You could also give a copy I to Richard. I have a four pack that is going we could on copy, raft. We could give a copy to Richard. Okay, we can do the four pack. What do you think? Yeah, four, yeah, yeah, four pack. Are you okay with that? Uh, I mean, I, I'm okay with that. Did, did, should I'm I'm just going. Should I buy my copy and you? We have more copies or what? What are we doing? No, I was Riffing going to say, why don't I? Why don't I? If we want the four pack, why don't I go ahead and buy it now? Okay, that works. And then I will gift you one and Yay. gift Richard one and your dad if he wants one and that'll be four copies. Yay! You're welcome, Richard. Tara's giving you a copy of God Mode. And there's no yay. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, okay. Also, I was thinking for the 24-hour stream and possibly to continue on with Burleycraft, just the normal stuff, I was going to do some little games. And the w one of them that I've come up with in my head is something I I'm going to be calling... Uh, the the I from the car. Oh my god, my brain. You know Can you spell that? My brain just totally just went melted. Out of my I, eyes. I, I, need, I need my credit card. I need my credit card now! Ow! Ow! Sorry. Sorry. No, not uh, you, not you. <laughs> His brain supposedly melted. <laughs> oh, that does sound painful. Okay. Oh, uh, what is it? Oh, okay, the whole idea of this game is um, I was going to get some people together. Preferably some people that have different channels. <laughs> Tyrion! <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was going to stream them. Very on subtle. A, I was going to stream huh? them on an island. Huh? What was that? Did I hear something? <laughs> I was gonna put them and strain them, literally, like keep them loose on this small island, and they have to somehow get off of it. But, mm -hmm. but, there's some rules to this. They cannot go in the water that's surrounding said island, and they, every so often, I'm gonna let an admin loose upon these people to put down monsters, lava, traps. And we're just gonna watch as they all die. Wait, what uh, have I been volunteered for? What? Uh, 
<laughs> it's just a little game that I was, I've been wanting to do for Burleycraft, like the actual proper game series, not just the machinima. Island Survival. Island Survival. Whoever's the last person alive. Or maybe if you guys survive for like a certain amount of time. And you have to try and keep yourself alive on a small island. While admins suddenly grow in number to put traps and stuff down for you, like monsters, lava falls, this sort of thing. If you guys are interested and if people want to see it. That's an idea that's been floating in my head. I've been feeling very sinister recently. Sounds very fun. I want it. <laughs> you I want totally it? missed everything you said. Sorry, I was buying God Mode. I, I, this, this is allowed. <laughs> <laughs> right, is there anything else that you want to... Oh, uh, CJ, you're starting to uh, design games, aren't you? Yeah, starting uh, the beginning of next year, maybe you're somewhere in February. Yes. I'll start making games. They'll be completely free, but donations are accepted. Hint, hint. Mm-hmm. Eh, maybe sooner than that. And by then, maybe my alpha of the texture pack that I'm working yeah, on. Yes, sooner than that. It depends if I get like $300 or not. <laughs> and hey, you never know. I got like three pack. programs I gotta get. Yeah. Like I said, you never know what could happen. You never mm. know. Hang on, how long have we been going? Okay, how do I, I... I'm installing God Mode. Now, how do I give away my extra copies? It's in the inventory. Yeah, it's in the inventory. You just gift it to people. Oh, yeah, we've totally run over time here, so I'm going to close yeah, up we the have. podcast. Well, thank you guys for watching us. This has been the Burning Man's... Ga- uh, no, no, not the Gaming Safe House. That's a bit old name now. The Burning Man's Safe House yeah. podcast. I have been Burning Man. I have a YouTube channel, uh, a Twitch channel, and all this sort of stuff. Come join us. Join the group of friendly people. We're nuts. Look at Tyrion. <laughs> this, this He's a member. <laughs> uh, Tyrion has a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel as well. So you go check him out. He does a lot of good gaming videos. Uh, CJ is uh, one of the admins for my safe house. So keep an eye out for him. He's also the lead star in the Burning Man's Adventures series. So you can always check that out on my Indeed. channel. I'll put a uh... link to that. And okay. the woman screaming, ah, her name is Tara, ah! and she does artwork on her channel, so you should go check ah! her out. <laughs> uh, she's also an admin for the safe house, and she's also working on a texture pack for uh, Minecraft, Minecraft, so if you're nice to her... It's looking might, really good. If you're nice to her, she <laughs> might she might give stuff out. And uh, Yeah. Uh, I'm a very giving person. <laughs> Sobby, I know you're still in there. I'm pointing this out now. There will be no more gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I think Subby's sending him a message. <laughs> well, Give me gifts. Since she was brought up, Subby72, she has a YouTube channel, does a lot I of Minecraft, and she's one of the admins for the safe house as well. But we need to close this up, so thank you guys for watching, and remember, games are for having fun. So goodbye! Bye! Say, goodbye. Say goodbye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> You're going to die. What? <laughs>